Recall how a deterministic finite automaton takes in a string as an input, and for every symbol in the input, we always know which state to transition to next. Another kind of finite automaton is called the non-deterministic finite automaton, or NFA for short. It is called non-deterministic because unlike DFAs, for every symbol in the input, the next state to transition into is not always determined. There can be zero or more than one state that a machine could choose to transition into. For example, this is a DFA, which we will call M, that accepts any string that contains a one in the third position from the end. So it accepts 111, and it also accepts 1100, but it rejects 1000 and 1011. The NFA that recognizes the same language will be as simple as this. Notice how when a 1 is encountered, Q0 can choose to remain in Q0, or it could transition into Q1. There are also no arrows coming out of the accept state Q3. However, like the DFA, it still accepts 111 and it also accepts 1100. You might have noticed how it also could have rejected 111 and 1100 by choosing to remain in Q0 the entire time. And you aren't wrong. However, the NFA accepts a string as long as there is at least one path to an accept state. So although there is a path that would reject the string, the NFA still accepts the string because there is another path to an accept state. Let's look at another example to better understand how an NFA accepts the string. Consider this NFA. By construction, this NFA would accept any string that ends with a zero and will never accept the string that ends with a one. So on an example input 100, it could take this path or this path and accept the string, or it could take this path and reject the string. However, it doesn't matter which path the NFA decides to take, as long as there exists one path that causes the machine to end in an accept state, then we say the NFA accepts the string. Additionally, NFAs can also transition on the empty string. When an NFA chooses to transition on the empty string, no symbol from the input string is consumed. So going back to our first NFA that accepts all strings containing a one in the third final position, let's add these two new states with an empty transition. The NFA now accepts all strings containing a one in the third final position, or it also accepts the single one. What we have been looking at is a state diagram of an NFA. And like DFAs, NFAs are also five tuples when formally defined. Q is the finite set of the machine states. So for our previous NFA, that would be the set containing Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, and Q5. Sigma is a finite set called the alphabet, which is all the symbols recognized by the automaton. So in this case, it is the set containing one and zero. Delta is the transition function, and because NFAs can transition on the empty string, this symbol here represents everything recognized by the NFA along with the empty string. And because NFAs can have zero or several choices to transition into, the transition function gives us a set of possible states instead of just a single state. And that's what this P of Q symbol here represents. So going back to our NFA, the transition function is defined like so. Q0 will remain in Q0 on a zero, and on a one, it can choose to remain in Q0 or transition into Q1, or it could empty hop over to Q4. Q1 can only transition into Q2 on a 0 and 1. Q2 can also only transition into Q3 on a 0 and 1. And Q4 transitions into Q5 on a 1. Finally, for the states and symbols that have no transitions, the transition function will just result in the empty set. Q0 
Q0 is the start state. And finally, F is a set of accept states, also known as final states, which in this case is the set containing Q3 and Q5. You might have noticed that this seems very similar to DFAs. And you might have also noticed that a DFA could probably pass as an NFA too. In fact, like DFAs, a language recognized by an NFA is also a regular language. This means that any language that a DFA recognizes can be recognized by an NFA too. And for any language recognized by an NFA, we can always construct a DFA that recognizes the same language. Isn't that a little surprising? Especially after seeing how different the two are constructed. But are NFAs more powerful than DFAs in any way? Not at all. Non-determinism only allows us to construct machines more simply. NFAs can only do as much as DFAs can. So, let's summarize everything that was said in this video. 1. NFAs are 5 tuples. 2. Unlike DFAs, an NFA can also transition on the empty string. 3. Unlike DFAs again, the transition function produces a set of possible states instead of a single state. And finally, languages recognized by an NFA are also regular languages.